my oak channel, Carrie's Orchids. Look at it. Psychopsis mariposas, really. I love it when they bloom simultaneously. The two spikes. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is going to be the report, or not report, video on the orchids I got from Look Orchidine in Germany. Now let's move over to the actual hall, shall we? Here's the hall from Lucke, awaiting me to take some action. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it takes a while for me to really decide what to do with them. Here's the, um, la la la, Kitlea labiada, variation cerulea. It's a species, yeah? Yeah, as expected. For a while, or for a moment, I was thinking about leaving it, leaving it be. Maybe that could have worked, but um, that's not so bad. There are some new root, root tips here, growing ones. And not so much to be cleaned off, to be honest. And it shouldn't be all that much crap down there so it's so might as well just get rid of the things I see that are obviously not good. I'm gonna peel off the cheese of course. Yes, yes and yes. And by peeling off sheath I mean every sheath, all of the sheath. Scale loves to be lurking about underneath the sheath so I need to take precautions of course, I will. Wise from experience, yeah. The bark. Yeah, I see not, nothing wrong with the bark. There's a good sized one. Perfect size for it. Um, bark is bark, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to reuse it. And I will mix it up with a bit of sphagnum moss, which I'm going to cut. smaller pieces. Unfortunately it's wet. It would be easier to work with if it would have been a dry but now it's not dry so this is what we're left with and what we're going to work with. Yes. Add a little bit of charcoal. Yep. And a pearl light. So now we're good to go. And go we shall. I almost ran out of bark, so um, I got a little bit this bag of bark, but I don't fancy the quality really from Orchid Garden. It's mixed up with some large pieces of pumice as well, but uh, that's great. But uh, no, this is better. This worked the bark, so I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, can, I have to use this one wisely. Anyway, what can I pot for him? The root system isn't all that great, and not all that wide either. These guys, the um, species, the place, likes to be drying out a bit between waterings, yeah? can all agree on that one. A little bit, yeah? If not sitting in the summer hard room, but that's an, a totally different uh, topic, yeah? So, for now, we're going to stick to the old method in this case. Not in every case today, but in this case. So, I've decided to keep the species Cattleyas in bark mixture. Not in pure bark, but in my mixture. So down with her, and it will stay. This pot will last for, yeah, one year. Yeah, it's gonna save us some space as well. And there will be some medium left over for some other orchids today, which are also gonna be potted up, repotted. So, That one's done, and she's going to be redone in about one year's time. That's another year's subject. Cattleya labiata variation cerulea. Really, really good quality plant. Yes. And maybe she's going to need a little steak as well. I always love, love to stake them up a bit. Just, just have to decide in which direction I would like to tie her. So, maybe like this. 
Yeah. Ah! Oh, jeez. There's an insect on the table, yeah? Tropical uh, thingy. Jeez, he's even more scared of me than I am of him, so I, I believe it's not poisonous or anything, but uh, it's just, oh my. I don't like it when we uh, receive invasive species into the country where they shouldn't belong, yeah? Just like the raccoons I saw early, earlier on in, uh, in Germany, yeah? Raccoons uh, crossing the road we were driving on, yeah? We had to make a really sharp break. Invasive species. Um, they started to become a real, real, real problem for the German people. So, um, well, well, this was an insect, but it's bad enough, I think. But anyways, Titlea, Labiada, Variation of Cerulea, Stun. Well, Labiada, Cerulea. Four months later update. Well, um, even though... My attempt not getting scale onto it really did fail, <laughs> especially on this older growth. You can see the discoloration to the pseudobulb. I uh, removed the scale family a couple of days ago only, so um, there's probably more of it down there into the medium but a good thing today is that her new growth the little one you saw which I didn't really know what to believe in um, it's now after four month time started to create its roots what I can do now is to put her into semi hydro even though she's species I do have a uh, Labiata cross, primer hybrid cross, in here, back there. Uh, it's difficult to see her, but she's been sitting in semi-hydro and she even bloomed. And she's been growing better in semi-hydro than this moss mixture. So maybe for the Labiatas it's possible. Uh, but the thing is, it prevents me from bringing her outside during uh, the summer period. Um, it might be good for it to um, induce some flowering. So I'm not really sure what to do with her, but if I'm not going to repart her in the next following couple of days, um, that will be a problem. So uh, I will have to decide. So uh, I will need to decide kind of quickly her destiny. But still, no wrinkles, plump, healthy orchid, nothing wrong with the plant. So, except for a little scale there, but yeah, we'll solve that problem. Could have been worse. And it was only on her, so it didn't spread. Yeah. All right. The little update on the Labiada, Ketlea Labiada Cerulea. Four months later. So, now let's move over to this is a hybrid. VLC, Shump, Tone, Fancy. Yeah. CT51. Yeah, uh, and <laughs> look, it's wobbly, so yeah, I will dare to uh, bring her out. Maybe she can adapt to semi hydroponics. In that case, it will be much easier for me to uh, accommodate it, to take care of it, and the workload will be lighter, and the um, enjoyment will be more frequent. So, all its root system is kind of sort of dead. And the bark, um, yeah, it may be reused, yeah? Came from the same batch, so uh, maybe if I use the bark with the same orchids from the same order, shouldn't be all that bad. I mean, what they got, they already got. <laughs> if they got anything, I mean, anything bad, any diseases or stuff. That's my uh, way of looking at it. Oh, then <laughs> I think I'm seeing insects everywhere for now, <laughs> but I'm not, it's just my mind playing tricks on me, yeah, yeah some live moss to it, this one's going to be a semi-hydro project, this time, 
So let's get rid of this ugly brown pot. So now we need to think of it totally different. A lot different from the one we just reported, the cerulea. Uh, we need a little uh, wick, microfiber cloth, kind of long, it's better to cut it long than too short. So, <laughs> well, at least you got an option. <laughs> to make it shorter, you cannot make it longer, can you? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's not a sharp scissors, really. It's a blunt one. This one, this cloth is gonna last for a few. Plastic transparent part. Mm -hmm. Through the holes. Equal. Yeah, kind of sorta. And pull it up. Beside. Preferably. I have this rinse, wash, and repeat. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, uh, medium. Lekker beads. These guys, as already, I think all of them have been already um, used before. So we're going to reuse them. That's why it, they are mixed up with some old gravel and some charcoal uh, floating about around here to the surface. Doesn't make a difference. We're going to reuse them. That's the whole, um, I mean, that's the glory by using lekker beads growing in um, an organic medium. Yeah. As this one is in a really, really good growing stage at the moment, as you can see, this is going to be crazy good for him. The roots to the bottom, the long root, is kind of sturdy. A little bit too sturdy for my likings, yeah? Uh, I would like to press it down a bit more, but I cannot. <laughs> it's refusing me the opportunity to do so, so, well, well, I better just deal. In this case, the next time maybe it will be better. Um, next time I will need to repot it. Its roots will die off again. So um, that that one I wasn't really really prepared on. Yeah, I thought they would have adapted well enough to just be being transferred into a larger pot. But no no no, that wasn't the case. So uh, the semi-hydro guys are sensitive to um, being reported as well so no spare room for any um, gravel to the top this time but doesn't matter all due to the long root down there which refuses to be uh, bent so that's why I couldn't get this one uh, as far down into the pot as I would have liked to yeah, yeah, sometimes you meet up with problems. Problem means before a solution, before being solved, yeah. And if there is no solution to something, it doesn't matter what, but yeah, to something, yeah. There is no problem. Some food for thought, to put it that way. Anyways, uh, this guy's reported into semi-hydro. And this outside container with holes. Two centimeters from the bottom. This one is going to do swell. All right. Well, the update four month BLC Shumpton Fancy CT51. Looks like a uh, fuller plant now when it's got its uh, newest growth maturing. Not the best of growth, but well, it didn't have the uh, that much of a root system when it arrived and yeah it's uh, starting to build up some strength but look um hmm something strange something different this time is it yeah uh, I am <laughs> directly after having transitioned this guy I switched to a larger pot 12 centimeter pot well I didn't yeah it didn't require it to be filmed but here it is look at its roots down there all the way down and there's a massive amount as well the water reservoir down there into a little tree yeah. let's see yeah. the roots are all over all around the whole pot 
Nothing bad going on. No viruses. No sign of any scale. This is only uh, uh, the remaining calcium from water or such. Um, yeah. I think it's. I think she's really looking greater and better. Really plump, lovely, shiny leaves. Yeah, I bet she would take some time to uh, get into bloom, but I think she's going to be worth it when that day arrives. The one with the loveliest blooms of them all in the store, I think. The very best of blooms. Uh, so, that was a good transition. Yeah, a good choice, really, I think. And now I have some room for the great wall as well on top to keep the moisture down and not letting the surface dry out too much so the new roots had a chance to go down there properly and stay hydrated okay let's see we have yet another gorgeous Kitlea orchid Kitlea whitey cerulea um, I would say that it depends on what's in it if I'm going to put it into semi hydro or not. This, uh, as being a hybrid cross, I believe it's not so sensitive as the purpuradas. My two purpurada, uh, pure purpurada species orchids, which are in my living room. Nope, they didn't fancy being reported into a uh, transition into semi hydro. So, um, not at all. But this one has um, some inheritance from something totally different. I'm not sure what, but uh, I can make a pop-up on its uh, inheritance for you to see. But I don't believe it's uh, all that much purpurada in this one. This one is a kind of medium-sized one, kind of small-sized orchid. I wasn't prepared on that one. I thought it would be larger. Maybe it will be the same thing. Um, I look here. Oh, sh this I don't like, yeah. What use do I have of these guys? None. This is the part I like. So, um, this Cattleya is going to be split it up. It's going to be divided. And I simply don't care that this part serves no purpose at all. Here. So, let's see. So, I uh, cut it at the very right spot. Should be here, yeah. I wouldn't drop this part so I can break the roots, yeah. So this is a little division for somebody else to enjoy. I'm gonna bring it, maybe bring it to the orchid society, or I can sell it at my orchid board. Maybe that's the solution as well. Maybe get bring in some money instead of just spending it. Yeah, would be nice. Now with the uh, some more difficult times ahead of us that would be good so let's just get rid of its roots dead roots so now it's a rootless little thingy no viable roots at all a good piece of the orchid the future it's a little bit um, dehydrated in places uh, this new pseudobulb is okay and um, the other new one is also okay, but um, plump enough, but um, um, yeah, it's not the best of plants I've seen. I think we're gonna, we're gonna see some good progress here. Can you see? Of course you can see. Look here, it's an eye. <laughs> new growth. Yeah, it's not an eye. Yeah, it's an eye, but uh, they are gonna become growth before long. And here is another one. And even here, so this is a vigorous little thingy a little creature yeah that was a risk I took so let's get rid of the papery dead roots shall we and start all over again and create something good out of this plant it's gonna be fun to watch the good root growth in that kind of medium if you haven't tried it out already uh, I suggest you uh, you do so. Try semi hydro growing. I think I'm gonna put her 
in a somewhat larger pot. Uh, I think she's going to need it. Uh, yeah, she will. So, I'm going to take care of this one uh, without you seeing it. I think you already know what this repotting is going to look like. Into some hydro, same procedure as the last one. Shangfeng Fancy. All right? Hmm, Kitlea Whitey Cerulea. Not looking bad. Where's the shriveled up orchid we just saw? Where are the dehydrated canes? No longer there. They switched to be plump and healthy instead. All of them. Not only the newest ones. Even the old stuff. Um, the sheath. There's something in it. I'm not sure if it's been there all along or if there's something new in it progressing. I wouldn't want to <laughs> squeeze it far too much. Um, but look at her amazing root growth. Just as predicted. Even up here. Everywhere. In a decent growing stage for the moment. Look, an abundance of roots, really fat, wide roots as well. So, uh, <clears throat> this was a really good choice. Too bad the fact that a summer days, or shall we say the nights, uh, sometimes uh, go as low in temperature as about 13 degrees Celsius. Um, that's, not <clears throat> that's not a good thing for the water reservoir and the bottom of the pot. The roots down there are gonna get um, become a little bit too cool and die off. So uh, yeah, it really prevents me from. I mean, I cannot just bring it inside, bring it outside, bring it inside. I I wouldn't do anything else uh, throughout my whole vacation. The moving stuff in and out of my balcony. So um, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> now I don't know what to say. So. Um, it's a good plant and I like her. I like the size of her. Flowering size only. Uh, the height of my hand. That's amazing. All of the Kikleas should be this size. <laughs> yeah. Good progress. Don't you agree? <laughs>